don't mind me today I am going to do all the tutorial while sitting so this is the fraction we have we have two units of fractions and the whole of this two units of fractions equal to one so there are two methods in which you can uh, follow in order to solve this um, algebraic fraction first of all you can transform these two units of fractions into a single fraction or you can multiply each of these terms, these three terms, one, two, three, by the LCM, which is lowest common multiple of the denominators. And the only denominators we have here are three and five. The lowest common multiple between three and five is 15, because 15 is the only smallest number in which three and five simultaneously can enter without remainder. So let us now multiply each of these terms by 15. So if you multiply this term by 15, 15 times the whole of this term, 4x minus 3 over 3 minus 15 multiplied by 4x plus 2 over 5 equals to 15 times 1 is still 15. Before we expand this bracket, we know that 3 can go into 15 5 times. So we have 5 times 4x minus 3 minus 5 can go into 15 3 times. So we have 3 times 4x plus 2. The whole of this equal to 15. Now we are free to expand these brackets. This time this, we have 20, 20x minus 5 times 3 is 15. Then we have negative 3. The mistake people are making is multiplying positive 3 with the terms in the bracket instead of negative 3. You are going to take the number together with its sign. So in this case that we have negative 3, we multiply each of these terms by negative 3. Negative 3 times positive 4x is uh, negative 12x. Negative 3 times positive 2 is negative 6. And the whole of this equal to 15. Now we are going to collect the like terms. Those with x together and those constant terms together. Now we have 20x minus 12x will give us 8x then negative 15 negative 6 is negative 21 and this is equal to 15 now we are moving now we are going to take this to the right hand side leaving only at x here 15 if a term crosses equality sign whatever sign is attached to the term will change to it opposite in this case we have positive 21 instead of negative 21. If we add them together, at x will now be equal to uh, 36. Now to find the value of x, we are going to divide both sides by 8. x now equal to 36 divided by 8. x will now be equal to 4 and a half. Or 4.5 so this is how to solve an algebraic equation now let us look on to second problem I told you the first thing you need to find is the LCM which is the lowest common multiple between the denominators and the denominators are 2 and 3 so the LCM is going to be 6 that is the only smallest number which 2 and 3 can go in without remainder so we are going to multiply each of these terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, by the LCM, which is 6. So we have 6 multiplied by x plus 1 divided by 2 minus 6x, because if you multiply 6 by x, you are going to get 6x minus 6 times 1 is 6 over 3 equals 0 times 6 is still 0. 2 can go into 6 three times so we have 3x plus 1 minus 6x minus 3 can go into 6 two times 
and the whole of this equal to zero. We are going to expand this bracket. Three times x is three x. Three times one is three. Minus six x minus two, and this equal to zero. We are going to collect the like terms. 3x minus 6x is negative 3x. 3 minus 2 is positive 1. And the whole of this equal to 0. Now we are going to subtract 1 from both sides. Subtract 1 here, subtract 1 here. It's just like taking 1 to the other side, which is going to make it negative 1. So this is negative 3 equals negative 1. To find the exact value of x, we are going to divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is negative 3. x will now be equal to negative 1 divided by negative 3. And negative will cancel out, leaving x equal to 1 over 3. Hence, the real value of x is equal to 1 over 3. Now, let us look on to the third example. First of all, let us transform this mixed fraction into improper fraction by saying 2 times 4, 8 plus 1 is 9 over 2. We can even uh, expand this bracket. Uh, negative 3 times x is uh, negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. And the whole of this equals... 2x plus 1 divided by 3. These are the only fractions we have, 9 over 2 and this divided by 3. The LCM between 2 and 3 is 6, so we are going to multiply each of these times by 6. So first term times 6, 6 times 9 over 2 minus 6 times 3x plus 6 times 6 equals 6 times 2x plus 1 all divided by 3. Now let us simplify. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then 3 times 9 is 27. Minus 6 times 3x is 18x. Plus 6 times 6 is 36. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Then we use that 2 to expand this bracket. 2 times 2x is um, 4x. And 2 times 1 is 2. We are going to collect like terms. Normally, I used to bring all variables together with their corresponding coefficient to the left-hand side and all constant terms to the right-hand side. So we have negative 18x. Then if you bring this one backward, it becomes negative. 4x and this is equal to we have 2 already there then we bring this one as negative 36 then we take this one again negative 27 negative 18x negative 4x is um, negative 22x and this is equal to 2 minus 36 is negative 34 the negative 34, negative 27 is negative 61. Now to find exactly what value x is, we are going to divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is negative 21. So x will now be equal to negative 61. Okay. All the negatives will cancel out. This negative will cancel this negative. So we are left with only... 6 to 1 divided by 22. A mixed fraction, this is equal to 22 can go into 6 to 1 two times. And we have 17 left divided by 22. Oh, in decimal point, this is approximately equal to 6 to 1 divided by 22 is 2.77 approximately. So thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.